All right, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Beyond Two Souls. So I've actually been trying to hold myself off from recording this last episode because I know after this one, that's it. There's no more coming back. So before we begin, I just wanted to say thank you for those of you who've been recommending this game for several months. I've seen it so many times, and, and I can't believe I took this long to actually play it. But we're finally here at the end, the finale. It's, it's definitely a hidden gem. I know a lot of people know about it, but I also know that there's got to be a group of people out there. A decent amount of people that have never played or never heard of it. Just like myself, right? A couple of weeks ago, I, I never played this game. If there's anything that I have to say I wish they would have done different, and it's really not a big deal, is some of the characters that you meet in this game, you grow so attached to them. Like, my favorite people were the homeless group that we that we met and we kind of lived with for a while. We helped out. And we had an entire episode on them, right? I, I wish that we would have kind of... I wish they would have came back full circle, you know, into our lives. I felt like they were very, very helpful and they were there for Jody at her lowest point, really. And, um, I mean, we haven't finished the game yet, so I don't know. Maybe they will come back around, but I hope they do. And if they don't, it's okay. But uh, the game does really good at getting you attached as a player to certain characters really, really fast, which is crazy. Uh, but anyways, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all the love and support. I would love to end this with a bang. If you guys enjoyed the entire series of this game, drop it a like. That lets me know you guys did. And as always, thank you for hanging out with me. And uh, let's just do this. Good night, princess. Is Nathan okay? When will I see him again? Oh, I don't know, honey. He hasn't left his office in three days. He loved his wife and daughter more than anything in the world. But we can try again tomorrow, okay? <clears throat> now you get some sleep. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're now getting flashbacks, and towards the end of the last episode, we also got flashbacks. We're getting flashbacks of a time, a point in time when Jody was a child and Nathan lost his daughter and wife. Which is very interesting. We never got this side of the story. We just knew that eventually time passed. He lost his wife and daughter. And then that was that. But now we're getting to see the, the, the Phil content. What happened actually? Oh, fucking hell. <clears throat> uh, what the fuck was that? What the fuck? Oh god, are you fucking kidding me? Is that his wife or his daughter? She looks kind of young, but I don't remember how old his daughter was. What? All right, well, welcome to the living um the land of the living you're dead that's that's insane i feel like this ghost is gonna show us something very valuable are we at his office Damn, poor guy, man. Jody. Oh, come on. What are you doing here? It's late. Go back to bed. Nathan, I just want you to know that I love you and uh, you're going to be okay, buddy. I promise. She's probably going to give him a vision. Oh. Hold on. Oh, this is getting good. Don't be sad, Daddy. What did you say? It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. 
But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jody. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We're here, Nathan. We're right by your side. Come on. Laura. We love you, darling. We'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again. I can't. They've gone. Please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I miss them so much. Too soon, bro. Episode just fucking started, dude. Jesus Christ. The active condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed, and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the infoworld. This situation opens up new strategic and military perspectives. Now we're going to launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space for developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. Of course. Typical. This is the beginning of a new era for our nation. Oh, God. <sighs> Department of Paranormal Activities. What is it, DPA? <laughs> so we have to remember, Nathan is now, he's got a huge promotion. So we got to see what's up with Pentagon that. Pentagon top brass getting you down. Big boys and their new toys. I preferred to leave before barfing all over their carpet. We played our part in all of this. Hmm. I shouldn't have accepted that mission. I was only thinking about my freedom and that was stupid. What are you going to do now? Maybe I'll go back to the people I like. And the people who like me for who I truly am. I haven't met too many along the way. <sighs> and what about you? CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. I, mean, I haven't given them an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Listen. Jody, uh, I know it's been complicated between us, and I, I didn't always do the right thing. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something together. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. What about Aiden? I'll get used to him. <laughs> I'm sure he'll end up getting used to me. We have something in common. We both care about you. Got a slaps, a couple slaps in the ass. I don't want to hurt too bad, huh? I'm, I'm not ready. You got to think about it, bro. He did us. I, I need some time. He did us really dirty a couple of times, and you guys know this. Sorry, I, I can't just accept your love right now. I understand. Plus, we got to play the hard to get card. You know, it's not over just Look, yet. Whatever you do. 
Just remember, I'll always be there for you. Ah, there you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? No, I, I don't think I... Come on. Don't make me drink it alone. Waste of a good bottle? I'll tell you what, I'll find you, okay? <laughs> this way, Jody. I hope I did the right choice. I mean, I haven't said no. <laughs> Cheer up, Baco. I'm leaning towards the yes, but you gotta let me play hard to get for a little bit. You know, you did me dirty. Not just once, but like twice. You did save my life and you came back for me. Which is, which is totally cool, but still. Some decisions are hard to make, huh, Jody? Someone's always decided for me. It's time I make my own choices. Just do what your heart tells you. Then you'll know you made the right decision. Hmm. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Hold on, can I use Iden around here? see what's in here and I go inside no right, so we're just gonna go ahead and follow follow our buddy old pal look at the outside dude that's freaky huh I think we chose the right decision on, on, on saying I think to to Ryan all right here we are Call me when you're done, I'll come pick you up. I think so. Whatever Nathan says, be careful. Hmm? What? Come in! This guy is a super highly promoted. I really hope, I really hope nothing's wrong with this guy. There's a reason, there's a reason why we're getting those flashbacks. Jody, oh, I'm so glad to see you safe. So weird. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. Nice. You're now Elizabeth North. <laughs> no identity and no life. Elizabeth North. <laughs> what is that? Five hundred thousand dollars. What the fuck? Our service is rendered. That should help make a new start. Fuck yeah. Thanks. <laughs> if it's for free, it's for me. Hello. <laughs> $500,000. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. Oh, God. Come on, Nathan. You're like a dad to us. Don't. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident 15 years ago. I wanted to die too. I cried a lot. Banging my head against the wall, trying to figure out why, why, why them. Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along. And I realized 
They were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. Oh, oh, I don't know. The government gave me everything I needed to study the infraworld. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. I it's taken me some years. I see where this is going. I finally succeeded in creating this. Hello, my darlings. you so much what the freaking crap to see them every day soon we'll be together i'm working on a modified condenser that can communicate with the souls of the infraworld speaking with the dead jody can you imagine what do you want from me i want you to help me talk to them I want to tell them what I'm doing. Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. No! Give me your hands. Ah, oh, God, that was so hard. To... All right. Let's, let's... let's... Okay, fine. You know what? Fuck it. Not a good idea, Nathan. Not a good idea. <laughs> My darling. He's not gonna hear what he wants. Thank you so much. Let us go, Nathan. You're hurting us. You've got to let us go. Let us die. You. You're lying. Helen didn't say that. You did. You're keeping them here. They're being torn apart between two worlds. That, that's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I know they want to be with me. Nathan, if you love them, if you, if you really love them, you've got to let them go. You can't cheat death. Cheat death? Death is nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Oh my God. Goodbye, Nathan. I hope you find peace. Wow, I can't believe this, man. I mean, you can see their souls. They're like screaming at them. anything crazy come on holy smokes let me, let me see if i can go back in there with Aiden. all right he's just standing there bro bro these people are nuts So I knew, like I said, there was a reason be, uh, behind the flashbacks of seeing what happened, you know, between the years with 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 Nathan and his family and suffering he went through. Uh, there was a reason why the game was showing us all that. I don't know if I should go somewhere here. Or... I have to go back into the elevator. Oh. 
Wait, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Hi, Jody. What? Good to see you again. Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. We can't let you go. We can't kill you either. We don't know what you'll do on the other side. So there's only one appropriate solution. We inject you with a neuro acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Like her mom, dude. Exactly what we did with your mother. What a piece of shit. A simple and elegant way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Goodbye, Johnny. No way, dude. We will always be grateful for your help. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow, I can't believe this. Bro. Jody. You opened my eyes. It was so obvious, but I didn't want to see. Help me, Nathan. I'm going to accomplish man's oldest dream. Nobody will have to die anymore. No one will ever be separated again. Wow. What are you... What are you talking about? The containment field. I'm going to deactivate it. The infraworld will spread through our dimension. Life and death united in one world. No, it's not just souls on the other side. I've beaten death, Jody. Everything's gonna be just fine. You need to trust me. Everything is gonna turn out fine. Bro, what just, dude? This guy is a different person completely. going on here bro look at how they have this poor chick let's make sure there's nothing here nobody on the other side maybe all right we're good you're too weak Aiden find something else Man, this is some bullshit, bro. I can't believe everybody be. All right, Ryan, you wanted your chance. Here you got it. You got to make sure we get out of here, okay? So come and save us. Get help. Hurry. Let's see who we find here. Of course, our buddy, old pal. Where's the rest of your team? Vince and Nick? <laughs> they have three months leave. They're on a beach on some exotic island, no doubt. Lucky bastards. Okay. Um. Hey, I've got a couple of emails I need to send. You mind if I do that before we crack the bottle? No problem. Okay. Here we go. He's gotta know that's help. He's gotta know. Come on. Come on. What do you do? What do you mean? How can you not even react to that? Cole here. Hello? Hello? All right, the magazine, the magazine. Come on, come on, come on. Anything else? You keep entities in this lab? Good God, no. They're all trapped behind the containment field. 
Aiden? Is that you, Aiden? Yes. This is a joke, it's not funny. Why would Aiden be here? He knows, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows. What is it, Aiden? Where's Jody? Bro, they're gonna save us. Lead us to Jody, Aiden. Show us the way. Oh my god. Right. Now where? This way. Oh my god. Over there. Okay, I get it. Something moved. Come on over here, over here. Yo, this is wild. Oh my goodness. All right, so where's the elevator? Take the elevator, right? Oh, what if they kill them, dude? We're in floor two, correct? You want us to take the elevator? Is that it? Yes, 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 yes. Now, Ryan has to know because, well, both of them, but Ryan because of that mission we did. the alarm hold on perception this way shit a guard uh, leave it to me can i help you cole freeman i have level three authorization he's with me Mm, I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. You do not have the correct authorization for this level. Maybe you could make an exception. I just want to show him. Sorry, sir. This area is level four classified. You do not have the right credentials. Hmm. All right, we got to get rid of these cameras, though. We got to be careful. You got to get us past Maiden. Desk 42, hello. Hello? Hello? Oh, wow. Damn, so we could have done that before? They didn't give me the option. Hold on, let's see, what is this? He's done it. I think you made a mistake. Could you check again, please? Cole Freeman, Ryan Clayton. There we go. There it is. I'm sorry, you are on the list. My apologies. Um, go on through. Thank you. Hurry, Aiden. Take us to Jody. So you're just gonna say that out loud in front of the guard? <laughs> stupid. Are you stupid, man? We'll do this light. I'm not gonna do the bell because that's here. That's just gonna cause problems. Let me see. Are we in here? No. I'm gonna go this way. Uh. No. Not gonna break the glass. Relax. Right. Now where? Perfect. It's gotta be this way. I Bro, I don't even know what the heck's gonna happen with these guys. Hopefully nothing bad. Jody's here? Open up, dude! Jody! Filled. What? Why? Why would he do that? He's gone insane. 
He thinks he's gonna get his family back. We gotta stop him. <laughs> he thought Vin Diesel was all about family. <laughs> Meet Nathan. The containment field. Oh, Christ, he's done it. He's done it. You need help? No. No, I'm okay. Okay. Bro, this guy's an this idiot. Way. Hurry up! Stay here! We gotta we gotta evacuate this place! Now! Everyone's gonna die. We gotta get out! Now! I love how we're the only ones in the elevator. To reactivate the field. It isn't already too late. Get out of here! I... Jesus! Oh, You're out! Down. You're all out! Not now, we I... can't hold them back! <laughs> this way! God. Isn't working. Bro, they're breaking everything, bro. These guys are stupid. Jody, you're the only one who can stop this. Dawkins has gone mad. He took down the field. You gotta get rid of these goddamn monsters now. Fuck you. I ought to kill you, McGrath. But the last thing the info world needs is a son of a bitch like you. Get out of my way. Clayton, get me out of here immediately, Clayton. Agent Clayton, that's an order. Let's <laughs> 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 my resignation. Let's You're go. all gonna die here. We're all gonna die. That's okay, Ryan, I accept. Stay close, okay? I There's nothing we can do. Let's get out of here while we still can. Wait. There's one more thing I can try. Hurry! We're out of time! Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What are you doing? It's a portable containment field. Should protect me long enough to reach the condenser and trigger the menu. Oh, he's gonna die. No, don't do that. Might be our only chance to close the rift. Don't do that. Long shot. It's the best idea. You're talking crazy, Cole. We need to get out of here. Let the military clean up their own fucking mess. I can't let him do that. Jody, no. I can't. I'm sorry. Right. It's our only chance. There's no way. Right? Oh shit. I always figured I'd die here. Oh. God. Okay, Ryan, you're. I love you. Okay. All right, Ryan. Yes. Black Sun is at the center of the dome. No one's ever been before, so there's no telling what we'll find down there. How much time do we have after we've activated the self destruct? The system was designed to be activated remotely. The explosion will be practically instantaneous. We're not coming back. Ida's gonna protect us. Oh my god. Ida, don't attract attention or we're dead. Condenser zone is on the other side of that door. We've got company. Well, they haven't seen us yet. It's our only chance. Jesus. I hope you're right. Or a little trip into the info world might come to a sticky end. Joe, 
Don't get too close to that. I swear you better not die, son of a bitch. He's still alive. He has to be alive. I really hope so. Oh, this is crazy. Let's finish this. Oh, my God. Is there an end to this or what? My baby. I lost my baby. Have you seen him? No. No, I... Oh, God. Ryan? Oh, come on, dude. 
dude. I hope this guy didn't go. There he is. Is that? I can't find them. I call them, but they don't come. Look, Nathan. Look at what you've done. You've destroyed everything because you can't face the truth. I miss them. I miss them so much. Maybe there's still a chance to stop this. I know it's not what you want. I know it's not what Helen and Laura would have wanted. Was he really gonna shoot me? himself with the family instead of pulling out this shit. Bro, what are you doing? I get out of here before I change my mind. <sighs> oh, now I feel like a dick for saying no to him. Oh, saying I think. Or thinking about it. Oh, God, dude. Exactly what we did with your letter. It's 
It's too late. Well, oh, fuck off, Mom. You it's too say. late. Let's go. We got this, Jody. You must have found to sell it. Oh. Poor little boy. Oh, we don't have we don't have that thing anymore. Do we still have that that like force field? I don't think we do. Oh, we're gonna die here. Oh, we're going through all the phases. getting tired bro i'm sick and tired of your stories show you this time you're really gonna get it Holy shit. Oh. We couldn't leave each other. What the fuck? Our souls were bound together. I loved you. What? I hated you for years. You were a part of me. Dude, what a revelation. It's time for him to leave. Is unbelievable. Unbelievable. That makes so so much sense. Living, feeling, being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. I love you. Don't die, so dude. So many things I still have to do. Don't die, dude. Don't die. No, Ryan, you're all right. Oh, these are the two paths. Another, side. Another world. Showing the wind, the stars, the universe. Oh. The item and those I've loved forever. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I have to decide? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my God. Okay, so we either die or live. I think eventually, yes, the people that truly care about her are on the beyond world, right? People that really, really care about her. Her mom, Iden, which is now, you know, revealed to be her brother. And then on life, we have Ryan. And then we have all the friends she's come across. I feel like eventually she will go to the beyond. So if she goes to the beyond, she'll never go to life. She'll never 
you know, she can't go to life after she's in beyond. But if we go to life, then we're going to be on after when she dies. I feel like I, I, I honestly, I wouldn't want Jody to die. I mean, I get it, but I'm going to go with life. I have to. And we'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. I can't choose to die. She's too young. Dude, if we chose life and this dude's dead, I swear to God. Gotta be good her knowing that there is an afterlife, you know? Like I did. He's no longer there. Dude, what a Jody, we made it. What a crazy revelation that Aiden was her brother. Aiden? I really hope that wasn't a bad choice, man. I really hope not. Oh God, now I feel terrible. so terrible I, I think we made the right choice we're, we're gonna see what the public says so unplayed path okay uh 63% refused or postponed Ryan's declaration um 78% healed coal okay Ryan survived 89% 82% chose life okay so I think we did the right thing 71% took the CIA money. <laughs> Hell yeah, but it's all free. Convinced docking, 75% uh, took his own life. Oh, man. Poor guy. And 96% uh, shut down the black sun. I feel like the the, the good the good path for Dawkins is probably him taking his own life. So he can finally be with his family. And that's what he wanted it to be uh, with anyways. Ultimately. And this is what I was hoping for. Ever since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind. What? Erasing what's left of it. My memories are all confused. Slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks. Trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything, these pages will be my memory. 
Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments, now that they know what's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Ida. Like having a friend there always, you know? For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. Grass is always greener on the other Never side, been folks. so unhappy in my life. This is a horrible ending. I feel like... Part of me has been amputated. I, I, I need something else more than this, bro. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much. Cole was alive! Cole was alive! Yes! <laughs> it took months, months of nothing passing by, and I woke up. I knew it was time, time to start again build a new life. Hold on. Oh. Let's be honest here. Alone, we could go alone. Zoe doesn't really, eh, not really. Jay and Ryan. So Jay obviously was a much nicer person in a way, except for the beginning. But Ryan was a little bit of a back and forth, but it's like the game wants you to pick Ryan because let's be honest, Jay, we, we knew the dude for like a week that we were over, you know, in that chapter. It was, we, we stayed there for like several days only, you know, and it's like, it's, it's, it's not like we had anything crazy going on. I feel like Ryan, although he was a dick, a certain uh, parts of the story, he did kind of come around. He saved us. He saved us in the last chapter, the last mission. And uh, in this chapter, he showed us true colors. He, you know, he punched the friggin' old man. He said no to the CIA, basically, right? And 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 he saved her life again. So I'm gonna go with Ryan. It was so obvious. Deep inside, I I always knew. I honestly, I didn't I think. Just needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. I think this is the right choice. It took me a while to realize how much I love Ryan. I'd been alone and sad for so long. I, I'd forgotten what it was like to. Oh, he doesn't even know. <laughs> now a girl comes out of the door. <laughs> She's so short.
Either that or my boy ran like 6'7. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, I, I think that was a good ending. I think that we was. We traveled as far away as we could. Oh, but there's more. Wow. I had to learn to love again. Wow. Wow. Put my trust in someone to stop fighting and running away. Wow. In short, I had to learn to live. Ryan and I never talked about it again. As if it all never happened. As if the other side didn't exist. As if it could never come back into our lives. Sure. <laughs> and it probably will. Oh man, this is crazy. Look at this. Damn. In the sand? Okay. This is cool. This is a really good ending. I feel, I feel like this is a good ending. At first, I didn't think it was going to be. I was like, damn, this sounds depressing. We're like in a shack, all sad and shit. But we needed time to kind of gather our thoughts. This is great. What a crazy life, huh? The black sun and now we have the golden sun. Ah, what a fucking game, dude. What? Is that Aiden? there's a better ending than this honestly i really don't <laughs> I mean, there probably is but this was this is good enough for me this is good enough for me so maybe he's not like 100 attached to it like he can't go anywhere I mean, he's just he can come and go maybe i don't know wow that was that was awesome See things at night. Oh, wait, what? Terrifying things. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but I know it's not true. Really? Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No. Mm. It's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen. Wow. What the hell? I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. What? Wow. Okay, so there's like some really cool music going on in the background right now that I'm not gonna, I'm probably gonna mute it just in case. Oh, wow, that was incredible. All right, so I actually double checked to make sure there was nothing like after credits or anything, you know, anything hidden. And it turns out that there's not. But I feel like they can easily make a second game, like just off that ending there towards the end. Obviously, the game has like 20 plus endings, so it can obviously vary. But I feel like first and foremost, I think we got a really good ending. I don't know if it's the best ending, but I do feel like it's a good one and it's good enough for me. So that was awesome. Um, happy ending. And uh, let me know what you guys thought. Do you think we chose the right option? What do you think about the ending? And the fact that Aiden was our brother, that was a twin brother that died at birth. He got strangled with the umbilical cord and his spirit was just attached to us. That was crazy. An incredible game. 
totally 100% recommended. I give this like a 9.7 out of 10. Really great. But anyways, that's it for me. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for recommending it. If you guys have any other crazy games like this, please let it be known in the comments. And I hope to catch you guys on the next whatever game we play. All right, guys. Thank you. And I'll catch you later.